If you've ever struggled with fear, doubt, or worry, and wondering what your true purpose was all about, then this podcast is for you. In this show, your host, Sylvia Warshan, will interview elite experts and ordinary people that have created extraordinary lives. So here's your host, Sylvia Warsham. Hey, Light Bringers, it's Sylvia Worsham. Welcome to Release Doubt, Reveal Purpose. In this episode, we're going to be talking about joy and faith. And so it's going to be a combo episode. And this week is actually a very special week for me. It's a highly emotional week because one of my heroes' birthday is tomorrow, May 9th. And he's someone I love very much, someone who has guided my life in very special ways, and someone who I am currently losing piece by piece. And in this grief journey I find myself in, it is difficult sometimes to comprehend God's will and to sit in the darkness and and accept what is to come. And oftentimes our joy and our faithfulness will be threatened when we are journeying through these heavy chapters very dark chapters in our life. But I want to reassure you, there is always joy in the midst of darkness because for God, there is no darkness. All he sees is light. And when we turn to him in times of sorrow, in times of disconnect, in times of extreme pain and grief, we can find the light and those moments of joy that he will gift us as we journey through these storms in our life. And one of the things that I have done recently to really enjoy and savor those memories I'm creating as I go and I visit um, this family member, I spend as much time as I can with them and I enjoy every stage that his situation is. And every stage has its joyful moments. But sometimes when we are journeying through grief, we are so pulled or we get pulled under by the grief that we don't see the light and we don't see and feel the joy as it's happening. So I want to reassure you that when you stay in the present moment, when you release your anxieties to God, you will release all those things that feel so heavy inside of you so that you can operate in the present moment where joy lives, by the way, because that's where God lives, in the present moment. And I want to reassure you that you are not alone in these heavy chapters of life. You are never alone, as a matter of fact. And there are plenty of people, aside from God, that can be sent to you as messengers to give you the special message of empowerment to keep going despite the mountains you face, despite the pain that you are feeling in, in your heart. So without further ado, let's dig deep into this, this subject that seems to be a, a very popular subject at times because plenty of us journey through grief. Plenty of us have dark chapters in our life. And one of the things and how I release these anxieties and these situations to God is I actually have created a war room. And for those that don't know the concept of a war room, that came from a Christian film of the same name. And it's basically a room that you designate to pray. That's all you're doing is you're designating to pray and to release and talk to God on a daily basis. And what I do in this war room is I put up scripture. And I'm not very familiar with scripture. So for those that don't know me well in terms of my faith journey, I don't know the Bible at all. In fact, what I'm doing right now to get to know the word of God is aside from joining a community um, at North Gateway North here in Austin, Texas, I've also have an app on my phone that is the Bible app. And in it is the Bible recap with Tara Lee Cobb. And I'm reading chapters in the Bible and then getting a, a video that she produces for those chapters to really understand what I'm reading and understand how to find God's character. So I put up scripture that means a great deal to me. 
And I put up my prayer request to God. And every morning at 5.30 a.m., when I wake up and I put on a cup of coffee, I walk into my room and I simply talk to him. I release all of my anxiety and all my pain. And I got to tell you guys, there's been a lot of sobbing lately uh, because, you know, it's difficult to lose someone to, to have this long goodbye, this piece by piece manner in which this is happening. And I'm very blessed that there is a long goodbye, that there is a, a chance for me to say all I need to say to this loved one and to pour my heart out to this person and, and let them know before they transition that they have meant the world to me. And I do this on a consistent daily basis, guys. But another technique that I'm going to share with you is a technique I, I share in my book, In Faith I Thrive, which will be released this summer of 2024. And in it, I discuss a, another technique, which is close your eyes and visualize standing in the middle of a tornado of your feelings, whatever those may be. In my case, it's going to be pain. It's going to be sorrow. It's going to be love mixed in there and joy. All these things that are really conflicting inside of me. And I'm going to visualize standing in that tornado of those feelings. And even though I feel the power of that tornado all around me, I'm going to visualize having these feelings pulled out of me and almost to a funnel up to, up to the sky where I visualize God receiving all of that for me. And when I do that visualization inside my mind and inside my heart, because I, I do feel this as I'm, I'm visualizing it, I feel a load is released. And I know that those worries and those anxieties have now been given to the one and only, to God, who is able to carry that for me. And I'm able to rest in him. So for those ones, again, that are joining through a grief journey, you're not alone. You can release your anxieties to him, or to your inner source of power and wisdom. And there is joy to be had because when you do surrender your anxieties to God, you will stay in the present moment. And that's where joy lives. And when you stay in the present moment, you are able to experience those gifts of joy or those pockets of joy that God will give to you every day on this very deep journey you're on. And I've had some beautiful memories I've created in the last almost year since we received the news that um, there was nothing else they could do for my loved one. And I was able to take that information and make a commitment to travel to see them once more. And in those travels, I have I have kept the joy. I have held their hand. I've played games with them. I've talked to them. I've hugged them, kissed them. I've said everything I needed to say to them. And those moments and pockets of joy are the ones that I am keeping somewhere in a sacred place in my heart for when they are gone. And it reminds me that despite the pain I'm feeling right now, despite what's coming, I, I still feel the joy because those memories come. When you sit in reflection on a daily basis, on the days that things get very, very tough, for you. I highly suggest you sit in reflection and you go back in time to those beautiful memories over the course of years you spent with this individual, whoever it is that you're losing up or have already lost. Because I guarantee you, when you focus on the joy, on the present moment, you, this is an intentional act of the mind. The subconscious mind, as we've discussed in previous episodes, is extremely powerful and is dependent on what you consciously feed it. So if you're consciously feeding it negative thoughts, it's all it's going to hold on to. The mind has a very 
propensity to focus in on the negatives. So when you're in those grief chapters, that can happen a great deal of the time. But what I want to remind you about is that when you consciously make the choice to shift your mindset to one of joy and presence, you can start really experiencing more of the life of this individual. And when you sit in reflection and you go back to all these beautiful memories, and I highly suggest, this is another technique that worked very, very well for me, might work for you, is I wrote down all those memories on a sheet of paper. All those things that I was so grateful for to have experienced with this individual. When you write down things that you were blessed for or grateful for, your mind tends to want to stay in the present moment because you're giving it more joy. And who doesn't want to feel more joy, right? So gratitude journaling is a very powerful technique to use. And it doesn't need to be anything big that you do. For those that are not writers who don't want to break this down on a sheet of paper, every day when you wake up, before, you know, as you're stretching to get out of bed, because, you know, stretching is really difficult for us older folks uh, listening to the podcast, is to think of three things that you are grateful for. Three things that, in my case, you know, thank you for being alive. Thank you for the memories I've been able to create with my loved one. Thank you for the time you've gifted me to say goodbye. Thank you for the ability to travel down give, you know, have a, a wonderful husband that supports me and supports my journey. Thank you for my friends who have supported me throughout this time because, you know, we're not alone, guys. We're never alone. We always have people around us and they're always wanting to help us. So try to not pull away. Try not to be swallowed whole by your grief. Release it to God. Be grateful for what you have. And most importantly, stay in the present moment because he's where the joy is. And you, you will experience more joy in the midst of darkness when you turn to him. For he sees it all. He sees what is coming. He sees what you need. And when you feel those promptings in your heart to act, Act. Trust that he is leading you into your life because he is. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Joy in the Midst of Darkness. I hope you have a beautiful week and I'll see you next time. Till then, continue to be the light. Thank you. So that's it for today's episode of Release Doubt, Reveal Purpose. Head on over to iTunes or wherever you listen and subscribe to the show. One lucky listener every single week who posts a review on iTunes will win a chance in the grand prize drawing to win a $25,000 private VIP day with Sylvia Worsham herself. Be sure to head on over to Release Doubt, Reveal Purpose Podcast.com and pick up a free copy of Sylvia's gift. And join us on the next episode.